good morning. It's a Sunday. I am in New Delhi, India, and my Uber has just arrived to take me to the airport. Today I will be going to Kabul, Afghanistan. Probably the craziest thing I've ever done in my life, and I've done a lot of crazy things, so that is saying much. Okay, just arrived at the airport. It's super, super busy, and I'm a little bit late. Whoa! Just almost bumped into someone. Anyway, gotta get in and get checked in. So, see you on the other side. Okay, so I daven chakras, went to the lounge, ate something. Now I'm running to my gate. Flight's boarding soon. So, this should be quite an adventure. Can't wait to take you along. So we're boarding right now. Um, it's happening. Crazy turbulence. Other than that, everything's good. And uh, we're supposed to hold a couple of minutes. Okay, so I've just arrived to Afghanistan in a couple. And I'm supposed to meet Noor in one minute, and uh, he's gonna take me around. Super excited! Can't believe I actually made it here. And uh, let's go find Noor. Wow! I still cannot believe I'm here. I cannot believe it. Okay, so here we are in Kabul, and uh, Noor was very nice. Came to the airport to pick me up. So excited to be here. No, Noor, I feel like I, I feel like I know you so well from, from Drew's videos. Oh yeah? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's good. Okay, I have arrived in our guest house. Um, it was really unbelievable to drive through Kabul. As I've said before, I never thought I'd get to see the city in real life. So we arrived at the guest house, came inside. Um, the hosts are really nice, everyone's friendly. There's like security outside and there's metal doors and like sort of a... Uh, like they understand that there are security issues and they're trying to make sure that the guests feel as comfortable as possible. Um, there's a small bed here. And then like two little seats. There's a big bed, too, which is the one I'll be sleeping in. God willing, the room has a little bit of a view. You can see out into the street. There's a little market. People are selling things. And then you got to see this bathroom. Something else. Check it out. So that hole in the floor... That is the toilet. It does flush if you pull this string over here. And there's a sink and a little shower. Can't complain, we've got running water, we have electricity. He did tell me that the electricity, uh, there's usually about one blackout every day. So he said always like keep your stuff charged when you have electricity because at some point the blackout will come. So. When that happens, you will have power. Anyway, um, Noor went out to get me some local Afghan clothing. And when he comes back, we're going to go to visit Zablan, who is the last Jew of Kabul. Uh, this is the Pira Tuman. So some people call it Shalwar Kamiz, but Shalwar Kamiz is an Arabic word. So we call it Pira Tuman. Pira is the shirt and Tuman is the pants out there. So uh, you just wear this, just like your t-shirt. You just wear this and let's see if it's your right size. Okay, let's do it. You yeah. got me the clothing. Yeah. I'm gonna go from Western clothing to Afghan clothing. Okay, so I'm all decked out. I don't even recognize myself anymore. What is this? Is this what kind of dress uh, is this? It's, like, uh, it's called Peran Tumban. Peran Tumban, but for like, um, which, which ethnicity or which? I feel this is something very general for Afghan people. Everybody wear that. Okay, I hope my beard and, and mustache are helping a little bit and I'll uh, be able to fit in on the streets of Kabul. 
Thank you so much, yeah, Nor. Yeah. You, you, you look perfect, actually. Yeah. Thanks for getting it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Okay, we're going out to the street now. That is Zavulun Simantov. For many years, he was known to be the last Jew in Afghanistan. Zavulun, or as the locals know him, Zabalon, well, he's a bit of a colorful and complicated guy. But we're going to talk about that in another video. Ask him if he knows any Jewish songs. Um, okay, okay, okay. Tell him to sing. I want to sing a Jewish song. Oh, oh, oh. I think he's going to read from the book. He's going to sing or read? I think he's going to read. At first, it was very difficult for Zabalon and I to communicate because I don't speak any Dari and Zabalon doesn't speak any English. But Thanks to Noor, my guide, who is also a great translator, we were able to have a wonderful and productive conversation. So, Zabdun is opening up the synagogue for us. This is the last synagogue of Kabul. Oh, there we go. No, I don't know how. You should know how. Then we did some of the daily Jewish prayers at the synagogue. Chaim. Zavdun, the Chaim. What, Sadaka? Sadaka. Yeah. So nice, so nice to be here with Zavdun, the last Jew of Kabul. Yeah, nice. so we are a good friend. What's he saying? Oh, thank you. So I am now in a room, which is basically under the the synagogue in Kabul, and uh, here there was once a mikvah. I'm going to try to show you. It's pretty dark in here, but we're going to try to shine some lights and show you guys. You can't see much, but this room is filled with you know, garbage, but down here, down there was the hole where the mikvah was and people would come here to purify themselves. And uh, uh, who would have thought that there's a mikvah in Kabul? Okay, so we just left the synagogue in Kabul, spent a lot of time with Zablon, we prayed, we sang, we talked. Now we are driving through the streets. Soon it's going to be sunset. We're headed to a mountain overlooking Kabul where we have a beautiful view of the city. Mm -hmm.
Got to this lookout, and man, oh man, is that a view! It's such a big city. It's, it looks really big, yeah. Oh, it's a city with like four and a half million population. It's really beautiful. I love the fact that it's like surrounded by the mountains. And very nice sight, actually. got back to my room in the hotel after an amazing day out in Kabul. We started off at the synagogue, spent a few hours with Zavlon, then we went out to this place that overlooks Kabul and we really had just a nice evening out talking, understanding what's going on here in this country and enjoying the weather. It got really cool at night and now we went shopping a little bit. I am now in Spinney's supermarket in Kabul, Afghanistan, and we're going to try to see if we can find any kosher food. And now it's time to call it a night. I'm tired, I haven't slept in a day and a half, and tomorrow we have a big day ahead of us. So see you later. <laughs>